क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट आर योर ओपिनियंस ऑन योर कंट्रीज पॉपुलेशन द पॉपुलेशन इन कंट्री इज क्वाइट गुड एक्चुअली बिकॉज वी हैव द सिक्स लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन इन द वर्ल्ड बट ऑल्सो द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट टेरिटोरियल इन द वर्ल्ड विच इन आर ओपिनियन इज वेरी गुड इट्स वेरी बैलेंस लेट्स से Nepal latest population is 29.1 million and has been increasing day by day mainly because of poverty low life expectancy poor use of contraception etc Con respecto a su población Cúcuta es considerada como una de las sextas ciudades con mayor población en Colombia donde el 77% de su población es urbana y el 23% restante es rural La mayoría de la población son niños es donde está concentrada como la mayor población y con respecto al género de mujeres y hombres pues estamos equitativamente alrededor como del 51% y 49% respectivamente. Sri Lanka currently has a population of about 21.5 million people which places it about 58th in the list of countries by population. Currently the population in Ecuador has raised up to 17 million people according to the National Institute of Statistics and Census. These statistics also allowed us to acknowledge that the population in rural areas is in a old stage and it's causing increasing deaths. Population growth trends indicate that the country's rural population is undergoing an aging process. Jorge also states that this phenomenon is caused because young people seek to migrate to cities or outside the country in search for better opportunities. Many of these young Ecuadorians do not return, which is a factor for low economic and social cultural development. Is consideramos que República Dominicana la población se encuentra en desarrollo y así se puede constatar a través de la historia. Cree que está poblado su poblado. Nuestro país se considera un país poblado. Tercero, que piensa Do you think your country is populated or underpopulated? Australian populous been the sixth country in the largest number of people in the world ranking contain more than 208 million inhabitants in addition is the second country in the world with uh, the largest number of black people only superseded by Africa Nepal is a populated country and population growth is because of international migration mainly from india tibet and bangladesh so my country is overpopulated it is the second most populated country in the world i think that the answer to this question comes in two parts yes i do feel like we are overpopulated as there is a recorded amount of about 400,000 persons in the bahamas in which most of these persons reside in the capital of nassau which is one of our smallest islands. Makes sense, right? <laughs> But we do have many other islands and keys in which the population may be 200, 300, 900 or even 1000. So if we can equally distribute this 400,000 amongst the other islands, I think we will be good. <laughs> Question number 3. What are your thoughts on gender equality in your country? Uh, we still have our slows problems. Uh, for example violence against women patriarchal language lgbt rights organization problems uh, but the new generation is much more sensitive uh, it gets better uh, every year i believe we will solve all our problems in a short time and we will live in a equal sense of society uh. the percentage distribution of men and women from 49% to 51% but it doesn't mean the equality we have to improve it because there is still a lot of contrast especially when talk about the um, social and the employment issues con respecto a la igualdad de género en Cúcuta considero que tenemos un gran avance porque existe la Secretaría de Igualdad de Género en Cúcuta donde se han realizado muchos controles políticos para prevenir digamos que haya una desigualdad con respecto a las mujeres eh, con personalmente en mi opinión y mi experiencia nunca he tenido que pasar por alguna condición de desigualdad ya sea porque sea hombre o porque sea mujer o por mi orientación sexual De hecho, en la empresa donde yo trabajo, que es la Cámara de Comercio de Cúcuta, 
la mayoría de los colaboradores son mujeres y para ascender o para crecer profesionalmente. Regarding my thoughts on gender equality in Sri Lanka, due to the fact that Sri Lanka has produced the first female prime minister in the entire world, it has definitely made strides in improving gender equality in the nation. However, due to prevailing stereotypes and societal norms, there is still a lot of work to be done, especially in the representation of women in parliament and also the involvement of women in the labor force. We think that Ecuador is not as settled in this matter as developed countries, but due to our history and the way our culture was based upon this object in our constitution, we have a nation that has the same rights for every person without taking into consideration any criteria, as for instance, gender. But talking about gender equality is not as easy as it seems. For example, in Ecuador, girls in rural areas don't have the same opportunity to go to school as boys. But as they grow older, the numbers indicate that women have become the first group to get access to superior education. Question number four. How has population affected employment in your country? Currently, the unemployment rate in Sri Lanka is about 4.2% and this has been roughly steady over the past five years. Thus, even though there has been a steady uh, population growth in the country, this has not had much of an impact due to the increase of jobs, especially in the service sector in the country. At employment, in um, Brazil we have much people to work. We are a country that is still getting old, right? <laughs> okay. Today, there is a lot of employment because the companies used to hire young people rather than old people and they made them lose the opportunity of having a better quality life. Como la proposición de o sea, en la República Dominicana durante el periodo 2014-2019, la economía dominicana ha creado nuevos empleos. Eh. Question number five. Where does the majority of the population live in your country? Most people live in rural areas um, because um, work options um, are much larger in those areas. So the um, people who are living in urban places, um, they um, come to the um, rural areas, um, such as big cities like Istanbul. I say that this is very uneven. We have people live in the interior and a lot of people living in the urban side of Brazil. Uh, I would say that most of them are concentrated in the urban area of Brazil. And we are definitely an urban country. About 85% of all people live in the cities and this number is increasing year after year. Thomas, majority of the population lives in an urban area. Question number six. Do you think the population of your country is related to your country's development? Population is definitely related to a development of the country. So it is the skilled population which helps in the growth of the country. So more the skilled population, more the growth. Yes, I think population and development are both related to each other because population growth leads to an increase in the demand for food, services and others. So yes, we think so. But with a larger population come harder tasks. It's harder to give the best to everyone. But if we, if we are able to give a good education and things like that for a lot of people, it turns out that they will be the ones responsible of the grow, growing the country into, better, into a better future. And I think yes it is, but it's, in, it's not for all countries. Because uh, the development will come when the country is, is providing for all the population. When it's not uh, I'd say they are failing their people.